Hi all, this is Chris Sherrill with Everyday VBA. In this video, this is the solution to Macro Monday, and that is to copy a template. So this is a very common thing that you would end up doing, um, and that is you have a template sheet, and you want to basically copy that template and make a new template. That could be for a new employee, um, it could be for a new date or a new time period. Um, I'm going to specifically do this for time period, just for for our sake, and we are just going to dig in. Here, so here's my template. It's really simple. You've got number of calls, number of appointments, number of sales, um, and you would come in here and put this in. But this is the template, right? Um, so there's a couple ways to do this. One way is you basically have a sheet and you clear out that sheet and then you copy and paste. Um, my my preference is you basically build a template and you either hide that sheet. Um, uh, probably that's probably the best way to do it, is just to keep that sheet hidden and then when you uh, make a copy of that sheet uh, you basically just move on from there so um, that may not make a whole lot of sense hey, look at that I got code going on okay so we're gonna go ahead and close out of that I do have my workbook project open here and we're gonna go ahead and open a macro and we're just gonna do this called copy template sheet uh, so sub copy template. Uh, I'm not going to use sheet because I've probably spelled it wrong. <laughs> so anyway, this is really quite simple. Um, so there's a couple things we're going to do. We are going to name this sheet. And since I'm doing a date, um, I'm going to do it the date as of um, whatever date it is. I'm going to need to do a little bit of date logic there so that um, I can uh, uh, basically uh, name that sheet correctly. Uh, that's because sheets don't like dashes, so there's a couple special characters. Uh, and then also, real quick, this is actually the sh this is actually the the one date in here that I change, and then the rest of it here are formulas. So that's how that works. So first thing we need to do is we need to get the date. So I'm gonna go DTE equals date, um, and we're gonna format that date. And the format is going to be we're gonna do year 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 mm and that will send over uh, that date format in the correct date format. I'm just going to print that real quick just to make sure that I'm doing that correct. Um, so debug.print DTE. I'm going to hit F5, and that looks like the correct format. Hey, it's 10-3. What do you know? Can't believe it's October already. All right, so that we we work it works there. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to uh, send the date to that sheet. So um, we know that this sheet is sheet one since there's only one sheet. I'm going to actually set that sheet. Uh, we're going to declare it uh, dim as worksheet. And then we're going to go set ws equal to sheet one. Now I'll notice when I hit down, it capitalized the S. Uh, that's a good way to know if your code's actually correct. Um, if it capitalizes, it means you've used, you've used a variable or an object that already exists. It's kind of a quick trick there. And now we're going to go w, ws dot range is range. We're going to go uh, b eight is equal to eight. And what that's going to do is that's going to set this cell right here equal to whatever today's date is. And once that's done, now it's really simple. All we need to do is copy that sheet. So we're going to go <clears throat> ws.copy. And we're going to go after, after, and you're, OK. Now you'll notice that I put after, then a colon, then equals. That's how you basically skip all the commas. Um, <clears throat> and we're going to go after. We are going to go. Um, this is where it gets a little interesting because you've got actually, uh, it's going to be after a sheet. Um, and so we're going to make another variable. We're going to go s is equal to ws.name. No, excuse me. We're going to do um, after sheets. And then we're going to do sheets.count. Dot name. And I just want to make sure that that's correct. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this right here, the sentence. I'm going to put a question mark because that's uh, a question mark allows the code to basically say, wait a sec, I'm asking a single line question 
I'm not asking you to necessarily execute anything, but I do want to know what this is. So when I hit enter, it's going to tell me that that's sheet one. So that is actually what I want. And we're going to go to sheets. Uh, that's going to be the name. And it's not liking that copy. Yeah, that's probably because it doesn't like these. You can get rid of that. Um, and then we are going to run this, and then we're going to then we're going to change the name of it to the date, like I was talking about. So we're going to process this. Hopefully this works. And you notice it changed the date, which is perfect. Notice it took in the name. Notice it made a copy. So now all we need to do is we're just going to go active sheet dot name is equal to DTE. So we're going to give this a shot. <clears throat> we're going to hit F5. You'll notice that it changed that date right down there. I've got two sheets. Okay, so now let's do a little, let's try a little something. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, a couple things that are going to happen here. Um, one, I'm going to need to make sure that I change the sheet name because if I try to do the sheet name again, it's going to give me an error because you obviously can't have two sheet names with the same name. So I'm actually going to hit F8 to clear this. I'm going to uh, just rename this just, just to show you kind of a couple things that how I would basically finalize this project. Uh, I'm going to put a dash out here, which is fine. I'm actually going to come in here. I'm, I'm going to hide this sheet. I'm going to click hide. So now that sheet no longer exists. And what we're going to do is we're going to run this code. So we're going to go, I'm going to hit F5. It should run just exactly like we expect it to. And it should have an additional sheet following this guy. So let's give it a shot. Um, and it worked, I think. But it also hid my sheet. Oh no, it didn't. It unhid. It didn't unhide it. So the way that we would do that. So what happened is, is it basically did that sheet, but it did not unhide it, and then it renamed my sheet. So um, because that was hidden originally, we would need to unhide. Um, so we're going to go ws dot visible equals visible so we're going to make it visible because what you did is you just copy the sheet that was invisible and now we're going to make it hidden equals hidden so now we should be good to go so I'm going to delete this because that would be the one that would cause the issue um, and then this is fine. So you'll notice here I've got two sheets. I've got sheet one, which is my template. And then I'm going to process this, and it's going to go all the way through. Um, what it's going to do, if we go through each line of this code, it's going to get the date, which is great. It's going to pull out. It's going to add the sheet, put it, set it this variable equal to, uh, or this object equal to sheet one. It's going to make the sheet visible. It's going to change the name on the sheet. It's going to copy that sheet um, after it uh, grabs where it's going to put it. And then it's going to take that sheet, rename the sheet, and then it's going to hide my template. So this should work out really well. Um, unless it doesn't, let's give it a shot. Ready, set, go. And we are good to go. So um, again, it's going to cause an error if you process this um, because I am using the date logic. Um, you'll notice that I get that right there. Um, it's a pretty obvious runtime error, which is, you know, the name is already taken. Try another one. Um, and if you did do it that way, you would need to basically put in some logic or some error handling that took care of that. So that is the solution to the Macro Monday challenge, and that is to copy a template. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure that you're liking uh, my stuff. Subscribe to the Everyday VBA channel as well as check me out on Facebook. Uh, we've got some cool stuff there. Hope you enjoyed.